What does Forrest Gump address politically? Uh, you can succeed. Even okay. if you're even if you're a Riri. That's not a political idea though. Oh, it isn't? What's a what That's do you like mean a by philosophy. political idea? Like well, the answer was it doesn't address anything politically. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got that one right about, then. Yeah, it doesn't talk about uh, you know, who's right, Democrat or Republican. It doesn't really talk about social problems and, and no. what the solutions to anything. It's not about any of these things. It's just about a fucking guy with an intellectual disability wandering through life like a fucking zen leaf on a river. Yeah, overcoming all adversity through attitude. Overcoming adversity through attitude. That's all it's about getting super it's very lucky. simple it's very simple why do you think people love this movie so much universally because people want that they resonate with that they know it's true people want that character that kind of like innocent character who is so innocent and good that that he like redeems you by by you following them that's what superman is yeah that's what goku is yeah that's what all these flat characters are who just he inspire other people around them People feel sorry for mentally handicapped people a lot. And right. now after this movie, they can look at them and think, that guy's a millionaire. <laughs> it's <laughs> totally, it's very good. This is a good movie for there people. You go. There you go. He becomes rich. Forrest himself, of course. Bubba's family through the generosity of Forrest. Lieutenant Dan, who after the war lives in a crummy apartment, but eventually runs the Bubba Gump right. Shrimp Company. All except Jenny, who opposed American values. Oh. Forrest is rewarded for his obedience with millions of dollars. <sighs> Lieutenant Dan is rewarded for his service to his country and his implied conversion Wait. to Christianity. Wait. Oh. <laughs> what? No Lieutenant way. Lieutenant Dan is rewarded for his service to his country? He's look at his fucking legs blown off and becomes a fucking PTS ridden alcoholic. He does get legs in the end, though. Yeah, but that's not because of he doesn't get rewarded for service of his country. He gets rewarded because he stands by Forrest and he and he he's you know why he gets finally free. He's finally free of his earthly bonds and his troubles and his stresses. And that is when he finds peace. You know what that's called, movie guy? That's called a character arc. Yeah. Look at that. Speaking the lingo. He's literally swimming in the ocean like the Zen leaf going down the river. He's let go and yeah. he finds peace. It has nothing to do with capitalism or obedience of authority. Like this is ins this is fucking insane. You missed the part where Forrest Gump whispered, "Get in the fucking water, motherfucker! Go swimming." <laughs> well, <laughs> this is like the idea that there's this very toxic idea that like like if you try to accept the darkness that is inherent in reality itself. Okay. Oh yeah, you if gotta you fight that. Yeah, like if you, if you don't approach the Tom Jump objective morality, <laughs> okay, if you accept that the the universal shittiness or unfairness of reality itself, and you accept that, and you don't let it te like tether you down, and you instead decide to move forward in the system, that that's bad. Yeah, that's because you're not trying to tear down the system. Getting lucky is bad because you're just endorsing the bad system that right. got, you got lucky in. Right.